people do. I posted what I posted yesterday because people don't seem to comprehend that if Aidan Carney gets convicted of witness intimidation and it can be connected to Karen in any way, her bond will be revoked and she'll be tossed in jail to wait for trial. It's as simple as that. This new concerted effort to get her bail revoked comes as no surprise just weeks in from her new trial. It doesn't matter why each person involved has their own personal hatred of Aidan Carney. That is beside the point. The point is, they have Karen Reed's phone where she communicated with him. If he goes down for all of these setups that people are doing to him, she goes to jail. Today I wake up and they're all singing in unison the very same tune. They're all banging the drum to have Aidan Carney locked up. They need that conviction in order to get Karen's bond revoked. But I'll tell you, there's evidence there to absolutely charge you both for conspiracy. No, Sean. There's evidence that Karen spoke with a journalist. That's all. You know this is a protected activity. So, you know, there is obviously Turtle Boy glommed onto this case. You know, he cooperated with Karen Reed. There's absolutely no doubt about that at this point, both through his own accounting as well as the evidence that has come out through search warrants and, and indictments and things of that nature, right? There was some form of, you know, cooperation. I have in my possession uh, admin chats from her Facebook page, the Free Karen Reed Facebook page, whatever that is, where Turtle Boy himself is saying, Karen Reed gave me the addresses. She set up the rolling rally. She told me where to go. She told me what to say. She told me to run Jen McCabe's plates, which he has not only been indicted on, but, you know, that survived up to the Superior Court and upheld at least the probable cause. We, we know there is some, co you know, coordination there anyway. She chose to get in bed with these people. These are the people that are constantly engaged in a pattern of harassment and intimidation against these witnesses, right? So, you know, that that is really the, the turtle cult part of it. And there is, you, you know, think it's a cult? sort of... Anybody believing the lying liar from Liarsville who forged federal documents to try and get Aiden locked up previously? Yeah, yeah, we all believe you, Kate. It seems like Karen Reed handed Aiden, from what I heard there, though he denies it <laughs> at one part, confirms it, then denies it, right? The grand jury documentation in the pad transcripts. Pretty interesting. So here's a question, Nutters. Why isn't the reporter from Vanity Fair being indicted? She also called all of the witnesses and asked to speak with them. She also had private communications with Karen Reed prior to spending three days at Karen Reed's house. She also wrote about the shady things that the police had done. In fact, the only thing that Aidan Carney did different to her was he also, on top of all of those things, organised a protest. And every house they went to protest at was a public official. The public's right to protest officials is protected in America, is it not? The defendant's right to speak with journalists is protected in America, is it not? I don't think there's any special clauses in the Constitution that says if you love or you hate the journalist that the defendant is speaking to, that determines your right. Is this like a Julian Assange situation? Because you personally don't recognise him as a journalist, then he's not a journalist? He's something else because he didn't do things the way journalists normally do things? or because he engaged in activism as well? All of your arguments fall flat when they're placed against your own constitution. And I get it, that became a bit of a dirty word during the last elections, but it is the mere existence of a constitution that makes you a democracy and not a dictatorship. Those are your rules, guys. America made these rules, remember? I think that none of you are taking into consideration that Aiden's right to protest is a protected activity. 
and Karen's right to speak to journalists is also a protected activity. No matter how you want to twist it out of context, it's still protected activities. So don't pretend that gunning after Aiden or Karen is somehow following the law. The mere fact that you have to rely on crooked cops to take any of your tips seriously is testimony to the weakness of your own information and your own disrespect for the law. While we're on the topic of disrespect for the law, have a listen to this one. Right there. Had him. Had him. That's all it took. I've got it. I've got Officer Barrows, right? I got Officer Barrows, all right? He's going to have a whole new story to tell. Whole new story, all right? Right. So you're following the law. You've got a witness who has testified at two grand juries and a trial previously that you have somehow convinced to tell a completely different story. How does that work, Sean? Did you think a bit of the old read technique is going to undo the testimonies that he's already given? How do you spell witness intimidation, Sean? Anyway, that's today's news. The brand new push for Karen Reed's bond to be revoked has been initiated. Seems they all got the same memo and all got the same talking points. But today, they're not even mincing words. They are literally saying the quiet part out loud. If they can get Carney, then they can get Karen. Not gonna say I told you so.